Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am showing you guys how to get an easy, clean, fresh, everyday face during quarantine. For those of you that are home and want to look put together, if you work at home, you have Zoom calls, you need to put something on your face or even if you just want to look a little bit cuter, feel a little bit nicer, but not like with too much heavy makeup to go out, do some errands, whatever it is. I wanted to show you guys the look that I go for whenever I just want to be at home, get some work done, maybe shoot some content, look a little bit put together just to make myself feel better and less up my spirit i hope that you guys love this tutorial and if you want to see how you can achieve a really nice natural glowy complexion minimal makeup for quarantine then please keep on watching i'm gonna be trying out this laura mercier hydrating primer i love laura mercier products like they're amazing i actually just showered and i did some of my skincare so my face is like super extra hydrated and like I don't mind that at all. It's nice and moisturized. One step that I've been doing that helps me um, keep my face shine free throughout the day and also like longevity wise is the Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I've never really been a fan of these but I find that this one in particular works so good. I just hate this smell. Like it smells so like silicone-y but guys look at how like smooth my skin is you guys will see like my forehead like the drastic change it just mattifies everything fills in the pores it's honestly a life changer i just wish that they would work on their formula but i really have been using this product every single day to do my makeup and i love how it looks different usually at this point i will have my eyebrows done but i'm gonna actually do them today after my foundation is done, I feel that that's just like the quickest way that I do it. I'm gonna show you guys exactly that. And the last thing to prep our skin is using the Milk Hydro Grip Primer, which I love because it just holds my makeup back in place. And I tap it over the pore primer just to kind of like seal it down there. For foundation, you guys, I always go with a full cover foundation because it's just like my preference. Taking the Maybelline Super Safe Foundation, I am in the shade 310. If you guys haven't tried this foundation, you need to. I think I've put everybody that I know on this foundation and everybody loves it, which is so great. I like to buff out my foundation with a brush first because I feel like it gives it a very natural finish. And I feel like a brush just picks up the excess product and I don't just I just don't want that on my blender. Perfection. And now we're gonna move into Concealing, let me blend this down my neck a little better. Now we're gonna move on to concealer. I'm gonna do a mixture of my Tarte Shape Tape. This is shade Medium Tan Natural, which is like my actual shade. So before, I would just do like a brighter concealer all over my face, but I find that this one just corrects my face. It makes it look more natural, you know, more wearable. I don't need all the glamour during quarantine. Not only is it adding more coverage, it's just like making everything more like one tone. And I'm using this sponge by Real Techniques. It's like a fluffy sponge and it's so good, especially for powders. It just blends everything so nicely. So this is a sponge that I found myself using like all over my face, which works really good for like everyday makeup. Looking beautiful. So now if I do want a little bit of extra like brightness just to make it a little bit more highlighted, I'll go in with another concealer. This is the Fenty 300 Pro Filter. It's just like a shade lighter and I like the consistency of this one. It's so nice and smooth and I'll also use it like right here in the inner corner to brighten up this area and this side of my nose. I got this brush from Soeva. It's a perf concealer perfecter. Look at how bomb this brush looks, guys. Like I used it like the other day and I was obsessed. So even for like this inner corner right here, it's why I love it. It just fits so perfect. You guys see how that concealer just added a little bit more like brightness to the skin. Once we like, once we set it with powder, it's gonna look so much better as well. Before we do that though, we have to cream contour while we're here and today i'm gonna be using the kkw contour stick the one that's actually my shade i ran out of which is um a medium one, two so i'm gonna be using medium one and see oh yeah that's pretty good but medium two is like my jam i have to get another one these give you like such a good like contour but they do run out so quick guys these are very good quality as well they blend so nice into the skin and so effortless taking my favorite 
buffing contouring brush you guys see that how pretty it is oh my god i'm obsessed it's also so easy to blend out so that's why i like it for like an everyday I like that and now we have like some brightness some dimension situation to the skin now we're gonna bake it and then move on to the eyebrows so i'm taking my anastasia banana powder because it is such a good loose powder and this banana shade is everything and i really like stamping it on the sides of my nose because it makes it brighter and gives it that more contour look and then i'm going to press this powder all over my forehead to get like some of that shine away so now that we're here we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyebrows very quickly i'm gonna be taking the elf um brow clear wax situation and i'm just going to apply this to my eyebrows so i apply it all over but mainly like right in the front that's where i want them to stick out the most you guys see how it just like glues down to my skin so after i apply the brow wax i'll go in with my spoolie and then brush them out and kind of just like rearrange them however i want to now we're gonna go in with my current favorite product which i just i just did my favorite quarantine beauty product which is a lot of the things that i have i'm using right now actually so i'm gonna go with the shade medium brown i like it because it works great for my highlighted hair it's not it's not warm it's more cool tone which is what i need and because of the brow wax you don't want to just like throw that you just want to like carefully apply the eyeshadow on top and because it is somewhat like a little bit wet or like moist it's going to adhere to the brow wax very nicely i will be doing a brow tutorial soon for you guys but this is like the easiest way for me to explain how i do my eyebrows and there we have it nice feathered bushy-ish brows now i'm going to buff away all of the extra powder okay now we're not gonna do no eyeliner nothing crazy guys look at this drink that we just did for cinco de mayo hi my sweetheart this is a, a cantarito recipe and we have some chamoy and tahin mm, mm, mm. now we're gonna pair some mascara taking my tarte sorry for curl mascara trooper get out Come here. I'm probably gonna like double coat it, triple coat it. Depends how I feel. But this mascara, guys, it's so good. And it really just perks up my lashes. So this right here is two coats of the mascara. It looks super nice, natural. It looks super fresh. But I want to go in with another coat. I've never done three coats of this mascara. So very excited to see what that would look like. Okay, guys, mascara is done. I usually don't do anything to the bottom lashes because... There's just no need for that. Now let's move on to blush. And I have been obsessed with cream blush. You guys know that this is the Fenty Beauty new cream blush collection. This is in the shade Petal Poppin'. It's great. It's lit. And I really have been liking it with their blush brush. If you hear something like robot-ish, it's my Roomba. She don't know that I'm filming, so she's rude. And then you could even like run the brush over your nose like slightly to give you more of like that I just got in the sun kind of look. For highlighter, we're gonna do some liquid cream highlighter. This is a pillow talk from Chaletta Berry. And you can just wanna like dab it in the areas where you're gonna like do highlighter, nothing crazy. Or like even like on your finger like that. You can apply some in the inner corner. So now the highlighter is done, the bronzer, the blush. Now what's left to do, guys? It's just the lips. Usually I will wipe off my lips, but I kind of want the extra like texture so it like lasts longer. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be taking a lighter lip liner than I usually do. I have noticed that I have been going in with my <laughs> lip color. Like I like a really dark base. I'm taking shade 1.5, but of course AKW. I barely use this one, but on days that I wanna look a little bit more like on the natural side, nothing too intense i'll go with this color right here and for the lip color i'm going to be taking this one from it cosmetics in the shade vision you can add some gloss but i feel like for me this is like the perfect look now to finish everything up we must go in with some setting spray taking my favorite at the moment my tarte stay spray so this right here concludes my everyday at home quarantine makeup or whenever i want to look more fresh but still look put together as always i will have other products that i use and mention listed down below along with the links and discount codes don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it and also subscribe down below to my channel join the ballerina family and don't forget to also follow me on instagram at ballet lauren that is where i stay most active as always i want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys get inspired from this look and try it out for yourselves tag me Tweet me. If you want to reach me, don't tweet me. I don't do Twitter. So muchos besitos y abrazos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.